Hello everyone who's ever wanted cereal for breakfast. That's the weirdest intro I've ever done, possibly. I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths Fuel Engine Tutorials, where we're on the last episode in this little mini-series. Thank goodness, and finally, we made it, champ. Who's champ in this? I don't know. Probably you for being so patient, honestly. So... Uh, to recap, in this series, and if you haven't watched all of them, you should do so, because um, you kind of need to in order to understand what the hell's going on in this uh, video. We have covered the intro to Fuel Engine, so to speak. We've covered injectors, we've covered carburetors, we've t covered superchargers, and we've covered turbochargers, and this is where they all come together. So, this is Serial Engines. Spelt S E R I A L, and that's that. You, that's the reason for the serial thing at the part of the as that I did as the intro. Man, that was weird. I'm still recovering from it. But anyway, uh, first off, I would like to apologize for some confusion in previous uh, installments of this engine tutorial series. I was referring to these things as hybrid engines. That is a bad way of describing them because a hybrid engine would be. Uh, your fuel engine generator and just one continuous crankshaft with just all the engine bits kind of on it which would be horrendously inefficient because all the carburetors would kick in at the same time and they'd basically result in an engine that's not particularly good at anything so that's not what we're talking about we're talking serial engines which is multiple engines set up in a series as you can see there like uh, these are three, this is three separate engines kind of super glued together, and they're all kind of, um, linked in a way in which you get the best of all worlds, so to speak. So, starting with the first engine, um, we've got a whole bunch of superchargers. So, you would remember, or I hope you'd remember, I hope I remember, uh, that superchargers make the thing way more efficient at low loads. So, at rotations per minute, RPM... You can see down here this one at about 25% output, the power per material is about 1045.1 and really terrible down at 100%. So its RPM is capped and its priority, so this is the key with these uh, serial engines, is set to 1. Incidentally, before I forget, I would like to shout out Gmodism who made tutorials on this ages ago. So if you haven't watched them, you probably should, I should post a link down to them. I have no idea if I'll explain this any better than he did, but you know what, you know, it's worth a shot. So, we've got our engine over here, our supercharger engine, and this is what kicks in first. It's got a stable power of just under 400, which isn't much, but it's good for, I don't know, running, uh, maybe a tiny laser or material gatherers or something like that, or even just a few propellers just to, like, you know, motor along nice and gently. So, if I crank that this up to about... 390, and if I turn that off, uh, the commodity gifting, I should say, you will see that the uh, materials is ticking down pretty damn slowly. The materials per second is like not really that much at all. It's like uh, roughly a third of a material per second, so not the most efficient uh, superchargers ever. Like, it's not that brilliantly set up. What? The hell? I should have done this. Excuse me, allow me to fix my engine live on camera. Alrighty, so we do that, and that should be... Yep, I have suddenly made that much better. And it's consuming even less. Damn it, I hate it when I find things... Online. Not online, what's... what am I... what's the word I'm looking for? Live! That I need to fix. But anyway, so... Under low loads, and like when you're not using that much power, like you see we're not even using 400 power, it's super efficient. We're barely touching our material reserves at all. Uh, and the fun bit is that this has exhaust. So if I shrink the dark blocks, you'll see this only has two cylinders on it. There's not much power generated by either of them, although they have like three carburetors super glued to them. Uh, we've got exhaust over here that all connects... Um, over here to this injector engine over here this injector engine is not kicking in at all and this has the lowest priority out of these three engines so you've got three levels you've got negative one zero one and 
this injector, which is very, very powerful and very power dense, is uh, set to the lowest one, and we'll come back to that in a second. So if we follow the exhaust line over here, you'll see that uh, this injector engine is kind of rotationally symmetrical, and it all kind of feeds in to here. It all kind of comes together over here to this uh, little junction, so to speak, of... Uh, of the exhaust pipes which leads over here. But before we talk about uh, this turbocharger, we need to talk about uh, the engine it's attached to. So, this thing is weird. Uh, I was kind of finagling around for a little bit. Um, from the generator over here, you've got the crankshaft line. This is essentially like half or maybe a quarter of a, um, of a turbocharger engine that I've kind of just like, you know, trimmed a bit and then rotated in order so it could fit because I wanted this thing to be one nice solid prefab. If you really want to get cuckoo crazy with um, engine efficiency, like you don't have to prioritize like that. You can prioritize actually like jamming as much stuff on it as possible. But this is exactly five blocks wide down its entire length um, with some gaps in there, but we'll get to those gaps in a minute. And it's just very convenient and I like convenience. So, we've got a whole bunch of cylinders in here, and all these cylinders have two exhausts, and they all kind of feed together into... Where are they feeding into? They're feeding... So, if we're here, cylinder... They're all kind of feeding into here and here. This is the special place. I'm just going to mark this as special. Actually, no. Special. That's too shiny. People can't see it. Too shiny. Stop it. You need to see that it's red. So, this critical point here, all the exhaust from all cylinders in this engine enters here, and then it goes to here. It threads through all these turbochargers like so, and these things, uh, as you might recall, the more exhaust you put through them, the more efficient they make the carburetor they attach to. And each one of these carburetors has two of these inline turbochargers attached to it, which means that when this thing is going full tilt, uh, these carburetors are getting actually pretty efficient. So, that is the basic plan, so to speak, with a serial engine, is that uh, you don't waste the exhaust. And you essentially ladder your engine so that whatever power level you're at, be it over 9000 or not, <laughs> um, you get the engine that's ideal for the job, and the more power you use, the better uh, this inline turbocharger engine gets uh, right at the end here. So, by the way, I snuck a, a supercharger on the end here, just because, you know, I had space to fit, and there's a radiator. And, basically, I managed to stick radiators anywhere they would fit. I could even, I could even fit more in here, because these are just attached to the, uh, to the injector engine. You could really squish them together a little bit. So, currently we're using about less than 400 uh, materials. And you can see here, this thing is already uh, got a little bit of exhaust pressure and making this more efficient. Uh, so, let's see here. Power material plus 149.24 from two turbos. So we're going to crank it up. You'll see over here, this has a stable power of just uh, 1,600. So we're going to crank this up to 2,000. And you'll see it's starting to go from, from, from. So we have this here. Uh, th this, uh, this is where the injector engine just starts uh, to kick in. And over here, gas amount is 27.3. So here, this thing is now getting its heat on, so to speak. So, 6 out of 6 exhaust pressure, 6 out of 6 exhaust pressure, 6 out of 6, not quite 6 out of 6, and then 6 out of 6. Honestly, this uh, part of the engine could be bigger to really take um, uh, full full advantage of like um, filling up all these... Um, these turbochargers. These are inline turbochargers, by the way, uh, or carbureted turbochargers. I don't know why these things are named differently when you see them out in the game world, and then they're named something different in the um, in the build menu. It's kind of confusing. I'm easily confused, and I refuse to apologize. Uh, my brain is overworked as it is, just keeping me alive. 
But anyway, so uh, you'll notice we're barely sipping uh, through the power here, and the stable output is like the power per material at 25%. It, like, this is actually really good just because of all the exhaust passing through it. But at 100%, it's still pretty damn nice, actually. And it means that um, if we're, I don't know, only using... Let's see, what power are you using? Stable power, current power is 1594. If we do half that, so... Yep, if we do about a thousand, uh, this thing is... What is it doing? The power of material is about... Uh, 765.5 stable power. Interesting that it shows that when it's not actually showing that right now. Although it is using not much materials at all. Alright, but let's crank this up to full power, so... Meow. So now the injectors are going uh, full throttle and they're providing a lot of power, and you'll notice we are burning materials uh, quite quickly. Uh, but it's all good in the neighborhood, uh, because... Um, even this thing right at the end here is using max exhaust pressure, which means that this carburetor right here is uh, being way more efficient than it otherwise would be. It's only eating about 0.5 materials uh, per second. So yeah, like if you got an injector in the mix, it's still going to eat your money, uh, but you can somehow mitigate uh, it eating your money um, or materials. I like to refer to materials as money sometimes because I feel it's funny. Um, it's somewhat mitigated by the efficiency boost it's essentially giving uh, these inline turbos over here. So, yeah, this took me a little while to set up, by the way. I'm not sure this is the best example, but it's good enough for um, demonstration purposes. So, do you always need to use these? No, because uh, depending on what you're trying to do, you might just want one of any kind of engine. Maybe um, for a material, for, uh, material gathering... Uh, craft, for instance, you might only want the uh, supercharger engine. Uh, maybe if the thing, if your craft runs at high RPM like all the time, and you've got the room for it, you could just get away uh, with a turbocharger engine. Or you, if you're strapped on space and want a lot of power, just the injector. But putting all three of these things together means uh, that it's kind of using fuel engines and the mechanics of them to like their maximum. Uh, advantage, so to speak. So, yeah, like uh, if you've got some, if you've got a craft in which its power uh, usage fluctuates a lot, like say maybe it has turning thrusters which might be firing or might not be firing at any given moment. If you've got a laser system that swings wildly back and forth between using almost no power whatsoever and using a hell of a lot, um, this kind of thing could work very, very well. I've never used this in an actual craft, but now that I know how to make them, I probably should. And incidentally, if you're worried about, like, the, um, uh, the, all the gaps in here, uh, when in doubt and from the depths, if you have a, we, a gap of some kind, you can always just plug it uh, with material storage. And uh, that's always, I don't know, that's always, that's always, like, a nice way to, whoopsie daisy, that's always a nice way to just plug any holes you have just so just there just there bear in mind these things are flammable so that is a bit of a problem you could even i should probably actually fix the prefab i have with this thing uh, to just have the fuel with it because um various engine bits are kind of flammable but also not that much so hang on 30 fire resistance uh still three times as resistant to fire as wood is so Let's just, there is a gap in here somewhere. There it is, I found you. Let's actually figure this out with this. So you need 786 uh, materials do, 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 for flamethrowers, fuel engines. I think they fixed that tooltip, which is nice to see. Uh, anyway, so that is basically, hang on, I want to be cheeky here. I want to be a cheeky person. There I go. There we go. We're a cheeky person. So, that is, uh, not hybrid. I almost said hybrid again. That is serial engines for you. Um, pretty brief explanation, all things considered, but uh, bear in mind, you pretty much need to know how to make, um, all of these engines on their own before you try something like this. And in particular, you need to get the hang of, um, of, uh, these inline turbochargers. 
uh, before you go charging heh heh heh, uh, into something like this. So yeah, let's just f f let's just celebrate here by having a nice lamb system, shall we? So we've got seven thousand materials. Let's just make over here. Let's just place four by four laser because four by four lasers are fun. And if I do this, hopefully power needed is not even half of uh, what this thing can do, which is very, very nice. So let's just do this. And then let us just do Let's stick something over here just for giggles. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm getting distracted because this actually took not that long to <laughs> a lot not that long to talk about. So, what's a good engine color? Ah, eh, it doesn't matter. So, there we go, and I think that's all set up correctly. Let's spawn in just a swarm of dusters. We da 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 da. Whoop! No longer gifting commodities. And zap! You'll see that we're. Just trickling away at our resource storage. There is the are the injectors kicking in? They were. So there you go. We've got a successful serial engine set up, nice and responsive, snapping back and forth between um, uh, being very very efficient and very powerful, and we're ready to beat the game. I guess sort of, kind of, not really. But anyway, that concludes it for a fuel engines for now. If um, I'll make more videos on them in the future, if people want, and if I find anything particularly fun or interesting about them to talk about. It's like, there's a real rabbit hole with them, you can really get stuck into them. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and for being patient with me, uh, through me having to learn how to basically, have to having to relearn how to make fuel engines in order to make this. And please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.